Now to Dog Watch, a doggy boutique and invisible fence installation company in Brighton. The company is buying and donating canine emergency kits for local police departments. CBS News Detroit's Al Myers joins us from Brighton with the story. You got your ball? Yeah. Or they actually get hit um, or stabbed or shot. Um, there's bandages in there for the dogs, not for the humans. Michigan State Police's canine officers face some of the same challenges and dangers human officers do. They're out in our communities on the hunt for missing persons, searching for narcotics, and keeping us safe. A lot of times they are put in situations that are not the most uh, friendly. Almost every day we're out there uh, looking for uh, somebody. The donated kits contain bandages, peroxide, clippers for the dog's nails, and even tick removal tools. And I also learned that the state police have first aid kits on their vehicles for themselves, but they haven't had them for their dogs. Gazicki came across the kids at a pet expo and decided to buy a few to donate. She found that Michigan State Police gladly welcomed the donations since they hadn't had kits like these available. Did not at all expect their excitement and enthusiasm about it, but they were. They came, they said they were going to come by last week to pick them up and we expected one or two may officers maybe to show up and we actually had seven officers and their dogs come um, to our store on Thursday. Gazicki tells me the kits have items that are recognizable to her from her experience working in an emergency room. I think the first thing that struck my attention, um, I work in an emergency room, so they actually have Coban that we use on humans, but it has little puppy prints on it, so I thought that was fantastic. I mean, you name it, there's 90 items in these kits, so they kind of have everything covered. <laughs> Reporting in Brighton, I'm Elle Myers, CBS News, Detroit.